There are so many ways in which you can wash your wig. So today we're looking at our second way in which to do it, and that is what we call the handheld method for washing your wig. This is Andrew Wilson here from Transitions Hair. Before we get started though, you need to get a few things together so you can actually wash your wig. First thing you need is a vent brush, okay? We really prefer the hair skin hairbrush because it's nice and flexible. You'll be able to find these. These might otherwise be known as a vent brush or a spider brush. They're indispensable. Uh, you can't afford to not have a good one. Uh, the second thing that you want is essential hair products. Now we recommend the Progen Nutrifuse range. We use here in our studio. We love these products because they're specifically made for wigs, hair pieces, hair systems, hair extensions, and processed hair in general, okay? So what you will need is the nourishing shampoo. You'll also need the Progen Nutrifuse nourishing conditioner, okay? And the final thing that you will need to nourish your hair after you've done the washing and conditioning is your leave-in or your hydrating leave-in conditioner. This stuff is fantastic. Our clients love it, you will too. The other thing that you need is a really nice, soft, cotton towel okay this is one that we have here in the studio you could also go and get yourself one of those highly absorbent chamois cloths as well and the final thing that you need the fourth thing that you need is a medium size sink or basin let's jump into it so the first thing you want to do is if you happen to have a part like this one here has a bit of a part just through there you want to pinch that between your, your index finger and thumb just pinch it there to help you to keep it there when you're doing this method the next thing you want to do is you want to brush the wig from the mid lengths to the ends and then further up and then eventually all the way to the roots okay the reason why you do that is to remove any micro tangles that might happen to be in the hair and that could be a problem when you go to wash the hair itself. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place the wig under some warm water. Now you don't need a basin set up like this, you could do this in a kitchen sink, a laundry sink, you could do it anywhere. Just make sure you've got enough space to do it. I'm gonna thoroughly wet it the whole way through, like so. Squeeze it through, make sure it's thoroughly wet. I'm then gonna get my Progen shampoo, and I'm gonna pat that in around the roots there, like so. And then I'm gonna squeeze it in and work it through the hair. Now when you're shampooing the hair, the place where you probably wanna shampoo it the most is around the roots, because that's where you're gonna have most of your product a lot of the time. And also, if you've had the wig on for a while, that's where you're gonna find that you've got more oil. You also wanna make sure that the shampoos come through the inside, I'm just gonna give it a little bit more water and that's gonna help that shampoo to move through the hair. Gonna give it a rinse, get all those suds out, get all the shampoo out of the hair. And you can see that when I've been doing this in shampoo, they have been keeping the hair going in one direction the entire time. You do not wanna rub the hair, you do not wanna scrub the hair. Rather what you wanna do is just keep the hair in the one direction the entire time. And now I'm going to get the conditioner. So you want about that much in your hand, okay, around about a 20 cent piece worth. And then what we'll do is we'll put it on the ends first, like so, and then we'll work our way through to the mid lengths. And then we're going to work our way through to the roots. Now we don't want to put as much on the roots as what we do on the mid lengths and the ends. There's a couple reasons for that. The first reason is that the ends of the hair, the oldest part of the hair, will be the driest part of the hair, um, which means it's more prone to breakage and tangling and all those sorts of things, and it needs a bit more love. So we wanna give the hair, the mid lengths and the ends, the maximum amount of love to put the maximum amount of conditioner on them. When you've got the water in there, the hair swells up about three times or more of its original size, and it could make those little knots a little bit loose. By adding conditioner on the hair, it makes it a little bit slippery, and it could cause some of those hairs to slide out. So by reducing the amount of conditioner on there, it actually helps the hair to last longer and prevents any hair loss. However, if you don't condition the roots sufficiently, you'll find that it can get dry and there can be hair breakage. So there's like this happy medium between one and the other. You want not too much and not too little, just the right amount. You will learn that with experience. And as I've been chatting, I've been allowing the conditioner to sit in the hair for a while and that adds to the um, the effect of making the hair really nice and silky and soft. So now I'm just going to rinse it off. I'm going to not rinse it as much as I did with the shampoo. 
squeeze it out like that get the excess moisture out just do it a few times again as i'm doing this i'm keeping the hair going in the one direction the entire time i'm going to grab myself a nice towel i'm going to get this towel here like so i'm going to wrap it fold it around there like that and then i'm just going to give a nice little pat with my hands like that and that is your wig washed and conditioned in the handheld method the next thing to do with the hair is to actually get your lovely leave-in conditioner. The progen stuff here is the one that we recommend, and we're just gonna spray that in, be you know nice and generous with it. It absorbs better when the hair is damp. And then we're just gonna get our vent brush, our hair skin brush, and just brush that through. You can see how that just combs through beautifully. It's really, really nice. And from here, we're now ready to style the hair, dry the hair, do whatever we want with it. Well, that's the end of our video number two of three videos we're doing on how to wash your human hair wig. Be sure to check out video number three if you haven't seen it yet. Don't forget to subscribe to this station. Just below, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you found this content helpful. We want to produce all the best content for you, so please leave a message for us down in the show notes below. And just because you watch right to the very end, here's a special gift, a coupon code, so you can save 10% off of any of the Progen products, hair skin brush, etc. that we had in the show today. Um, my name is Andrew Wilson from Transitions Hair here in Sydney. We look forward to seeing you soon because we believe life is better with hair.